So we're here at the TechCrunch Disrupt with a Phoenix, right? Yeah, Phoenix P2P. We have an end-to-end -end, uh, real-time video streaming platform. And we allow our customers to use our APIs and SDKs to reach really large audiences in really low latency. So who are you? Uh, I'm Kyle Bank, and I'm the Director of Business Development for Phoenix. So, low latency, what are you talking about? Very low, it's very important to have real time, right? Sometimes. Yeah, so, so if I'm waving my hand here, you can see that it's also showing up on these two phones as I'm doing it. So the latency we're seeing here is about uh, 300 milliseconds end to end. Uh, and if you compare it to this one over here, uh, you'll see my hand come across about 20 seconds after uh, the other ones. What is this, this app? This is pretty much the industry standard. And, and this is what we do. This is just our demo application. That's not Skype or something. What is this? This, this is, is built on our platform. It's our demo. Um, you know, we, we provide the underlying infrastructure, and then we have demo apps that show our customers that we, we can stream video and giving them examples on the fit types of things they can build. Uh, for example, uh, somebody could play music with somebody else? Uh, yeah, it's possible. Um, you know, we, we provide these APIs to our customers. Uh, one of our customers is in the social media space and they're allowing uh, celebrities to interact with their fans in real time. So you could be streaming to 100,000 fans and people could say, hey, turn the camera to the right, turn it to the left, because that it's all happening in real time. But everything depends on the network, right, also? Uh, there are a lot of networking dependencies, um, but we're able to adjust quality uh, and the latency according to each individual connection, uh, which is also really unique to us. We have a lot of algorithms around how we manage the data flow. Um, and if someone has a really bad connection, we can switch them to an HLS stream and provide it 20 seconds behind, which is what pretty much the industry standard is. And we, we, we can understand that data connection and make sure they're getting the best user experience. So some, uh, one of the users might have a red thing saying he's delayed, but everybody else is real time. Yeah, and then hopefully he can either get to a better Wi-Fi network or get a better cellular reception, and we can uh, further imp improve their connection. But um, you know, our, our number one goal is to provide the best user experience. If we can do that in real time, uh, we do so. Uh, and if not, we deliver them. We can deliver them audio only, um, or we can transcode uh, into HLS. How about uh, it's a lot to do with uh, encoding, decoding. What's your codec? Is yes. Secret? So, so today we're using VP8 as our codec for the VP8. encoding. VP8. Yeah. Uh, Isn't VP9 better? Uh, we're working on H.264, uh, which is going to allow us to do uh, hardware acceleration. Um, VP9 uh, is significantly better than VP8, uh, but current mobile devices, the CPU can't quite handle it yet. So once the mobile uh, um, hardware catches up to where the software world is, uh, then we'll probably integrate VP9 but and the, the likes. There are some devices that do support like these, right? Uh, like the there, are, there, are, there are certain devices that are the highest quality that will support VP9, but we want to be able to support every possible device that's out there. You could automatically switch it on when it's supported and not have it on when it's not supported, right? Uh, I, I think the majority of mobile devices today can't quite handle VP9. If you're in on a, on a computer, uh, in a web browser, in a very powerful PC, it can. Um, and H.265? Uh, H.265 is similar to VP9, so... Um, H.264 uh, is, is, is in the works and is going to allow us to deliver 720p to mobile devices. Um, and then in the future, H.265 will definitely be in the pipeline down the road. So there's one guy here is talking about he sold Skype a couple of times to Microsoft. Okay. Uh, the Skype, there's some other... Uh, yep. It's a big deal to get a zero latency 4K video conferencing. Are you going to allow... Are you going to make it better? Uh, yeah, so, so 4K is definitely on our radar uh, and, and in the works. Um, Skype is very different than the technology we built here. Uh, they're pretty much a point-to-point, -point, a one-to-one -one connection, and they allow you to have small group chats. Uh, but our technology, in addition to doing that, can also allow you to reach a million concurrent viewers streaming a large sporting event uh, in that low latency environment. A million viewers. You can have a million concurrent viewers using our technology. You can hook up with the Google Cloud or Amazon or something, right? Yeah, so today our infrastructure, we're, we're working with the Google Cloud platform, uh, but we are agnostic to our cloud provider. So if we had a customer that said, we really want to be on AWS, and in a matter of days, we could be ported over to AWS, and down the road, we plan on uh, building partnerships with Azure uh, and, uh, and others as well. So where are you based? Uh, we're based in Chicago. 
the more Chicago, the Motorola, Motorola, because, Motorola engineers? Uh, we actually, uh, yeah, we, we're, we're located not too far from Motorola. Uh, a lot of our engineers actually came out of Northwestern. Some really bright PhD and masters. Um, so uh, what's happening here? You, you, spoke, you spoke speaking at the startup battle? Uh, yeah, my colleague Trip Welge uh, pitched this morning in the, the startup battle. Did he win? Uh, and I think he did a great job. We find out tonight if we move on to the finals. They said three to five teams will advance it tomorrow. So fingers crossed that they were in that bunch and, uh, and what competing are you for, for that uh, first prize. Looking for investors? What do you need? Uh, we're looking for potential clients. We're actively in business development mode and, and going after online education, OTC television, social media, uh, and esports and gaming are you know our primary industries. We should partner up with Korg and uh, have uh, people play music live, uh, zero latency stuff. Yeah, that, that would be great. But it's not zero, it's 300 milliseconds. Yeah, 300 milliseconds, but that's, that's about it? as close as you can get. Can you awesome. do it faster or something? Uh, we are getting, approaching close to uh, the the, low, the the speed of data that can travel across the globe, um, so we're we're about as low of latency as, as you could possibly reach. Research 